Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing our complete Blu-ray collection, Blu-ray and 4K together. Whoa. For 2023, as we've done the past couple of years. Uh, let's get started with Disney. It's a big we have, one. Yep, Lady and the Tramp, Diamond Edition. Hunchback and Notre Dame, two movie, three disc, Diamond Edition collection. And Blu-ray DVD combo, Cinderella. Peter Pan, Diamond Edition, which is actually the first Blu-ray we ever owned, was that exact one. Uh, Snow White, Pinocchio, 70th Anniversary Edition. These are all Blu-ray DVD. Yep, uh, all our Disney, almost all our Disney for the regular ones. Dumbo, our Blu-ray DVD combo. They're always trying to look out for those. Sleeping Beauty. Those are getting hard to find, though. Yeah, there's fewer and fewer. Mondo Steelbook of That's the so Jungle pretty. Book. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I wish these weren't so much money, we'd have other ones, because all Disney classics have those, but uh, just the regular Blu-ray DVD combo of the Jungle Book. Fox and the Hound. That has both of them. That has both of them, yeah. But Fox only the one first too. one really matters. Yeah, the, the second one doesn't count. Uh, one of my favorites, Diamond Edition of, ooh, it's very shimmery, 101 Dalmatians. Sweet. Now your pile. We have, oh, my one boyfriend. your favorites, yep. Robin Hood. We have... What is this edition? This is the anniversary, anniversary edition of The Little Mermaid. Diamond edition of The Lion King, and this is in 3D. And this regular, is... and it's a five disc, a four disc combo. And then the, everyone and then the digital needs that, on the disc, yeah. that many. And this is the same, same version, the yeah. diamond edition of Beauty and the With Beast. 3D and 2D and DVD. And, and then we have 25th. 25th anniversary of Beauty and the Beast. And the diamond of Aladdin. Mm -hmm. And then this is the 4K. Yeah, it's our only um, Disney 4K. Oh, okay. That's Interesting. my favorite Disney movie, Aladdin. And then Pocahontas 1 and 2. Really only got that for Pocahontas 1. Yes. Like a lot of these. A lot of the straight to VHS really. sequels are. Yeah. Now, next we have Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. This is the special edition with the one music scene that was cut in some earlier versions restored. And The Great Mouse Detective. One of the more underrated. Oh, rare. Weird. Yeah, uh, 35th oh. anniversary edition of the two Rescuers movies. Love One of the them. few ones where you know it's not as good, the sequel is actually still good. It's still a good movie. Oh, I thought you were going to say better. No, no, but <laughs> usually Excuse usually me? they're straight to VHS and horrible. This yes. is one of the few times where it's actually like a decent movie. Like, like speaking of bad sequels, mm. Mulan, 1 and 2. <sighs> that was sad. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. No one ever talks about that one. Shuron, the original classic two-disc edition, and this cool 3D lenticular cover of Tron Legacy, and there's rumors now that a third Tron really? might actually be happening. There are rumors, yeah. How many third years Tron, would that be? About the same as the original to this one, like again, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still rumors, but I'm hoping. And then we have surprises, Maleficent, and Maleficent Mistress of Evil, some favorite modern ones. And then from the Disney, like art, the Disney, what are they called? The Disney, what exclusive? Disney Club exclusive or whatever. They movie did some club. of these. Movie Club, yeah, Movie Club with these yellow. Uh, yeah, mo Movie Club. The Parent Trap. Disney has so many different, from the vault and whatever. The, Diamond uh, Edition, never, Platinum Edition. Yeah, I already remember. But the Movie Club of The Parent Trap. Then the Movie Club edition of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Some of these that are like exclusives to that line on Blu ray. Then we have The Santa Claus, Tim Allen. And if anyone wants to see the insides of these or what's contained in them in yes. more detail, leave yeah, us a Yeah, we're going to go kind of quick because there's many hundreds to go through. <laughs> but let us know and yeah. Stefan will do a yes. more in-depth version. Yeah. This is Hocus Pocus. This is the only one that exists. I will not. The other one is not. That was worse. We both agreed that was the worst movie we watched last it year. It doesn't. It doesn't. The sequel. Enchanted. I will also not watch the sequel of that one. Yeah. Because that looks icky. Wally. Wally. The only Criterion. Yeah, now it has. Yeah, this is not the Criterion. This is not the okay. Criterion. This but is it has just the Criterion. I think this is this is the Blu-ray DVD. DVD, yeah, it's regular combo. combo. Tangled. I love Tangled. That was such a great movie. Luca. Really like that one. Mm -hmm. And Coco. Coco. Love Coco. I like this one. Uh, you didn't think you were gonna I like it. I know. I, thought, I did not think I was gonna like red. it. But I loved it. And this one does not have a blue or. Oh no, it does have a DVD. Combo, yes. so that's why I got this version because there's some. It's hard to find. Twentieth yeah. anniversary edition of Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting out of Disney and Don Bluth. Don Bluth. So this is a combo of yeah. Anastasia, Ferngully, and Thumbelina. Mm -hmm. Has all three, and I think this is three discs. Yeah, they each are on their own. It's the the own the moments and then collection. All dogs go to heaven. Something I wasn't allowed to watch until I became an adult. <laughs> and the Pebble and the Penguin. Which oh. is eh, one of the lesser ones, but Tim Curry's good. So good. 
And continuing Don Bluth, my favorite Don Bluth film, oh. The Land Before Time. Absolutely, Absolutely love that. Um, a movie that bombed, I think, deserves more credit, Kubo and Two Strings. That's that was good really good. Uh, this is one of the older, the original classics Blu-ray collection of a lot of the old Rankin Bass but not Christmas the best specials. One. And now they have that new DVD set with like everything. Matilda. Love Matilda. And Willy Wonka. It's a 4K and Blu-ray combo for Willy Wonka. This one's cool looking. I like this one. Yeah, this the the Wonka bar release. That one's open on the inside. It has the the candy bar. I think that's just a kind of a cool release of that movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. We have Detective Pikachu. Can't I? I don't know why they're not making another one. Yeah, yet. I'm surprised. Uh, the two movie collection of Sonic One and Two. Very very good. We have Shrek. The anniversary edition. Only Shrek movie I care about. There's like no, no, this one. Of them. That's so this not is the movie. That's this is the Broadway version of yes, Shrek the musical, the which musical. is yeah. such a fantastic. I like it better than the movie. I but do too. As well. That's just me. I, Next, we have a very important movie. This is a Pirate, double pack. Pirates and Pigs collection. Pirates and Pigs collection. Yeah. The Muppet Treasure Island and the Great Muppet Caper. Mm -hmm. yeah, love that one. Not so much this one. This I is a, love, it's a this classic. Is a I don't book. understand. This Stefan is, says this is a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas I reserve, classic. I, I reserve judgment. You're one of the weird people that doesn't like Home, Home Alone. Alone. Home Alone is great. This is a lovely Home Alone steel book. Yep. Then we have, turtle, what is this? Turtle, turtle, turtles? Turtle. Turtles. I love turtles. You love turtles? We love, we love a lot of turtle stuff. We turtles do have turtles too. Turtles lot. 3, we just have on DVD and all of it. And this is another steel book. This yes. is so pretty. Wizard of Oz. I actually really like this That's steel book edition. Really pretty. Judy. The best movie of all time in 4K. Hook. Hook. Ah, so beautiful. And what's this? It's the sing along 30th anniversary yeah. edition. My of favorite Annie. 80s Annie. That's got it. That's my favorite the Annie. The 90s one's good too. It's, it's okay, very good. but that's the 80s one. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And Adventures in Babysitting. Yeah. This is the 25th love, anniversary edition. Love that movie. And then you have the, is this Japanese? This is the Japanese edition. Yeah, this version. is the Japanese yeah. version. I don't Japanese know why we version. have this, but love we do. Love that movie. <laughs> Moving on to another favorite. I love this kind of wood grainy look to the steelbook of The Goonies. Such a pretty, I love pretty that. edition. Gorgeous. Then we have the 4K edition of The Goonies. We have an 80s triple pack here. Goonies. The Goonies again, and Gremlins 1 and 2. That's kind of a cool. They're each on their own disc, which is nice. Uh, then we have the Diamond Lux Edition Steelbook of Gremlins. That one's kind of weird. This one's really cool. This one I'll open up on the inside here. It's a really heavy pretty. one. It's, yeah, it's heavy duty. It's a really nice Gremlins version. And then we have the Digibook 100th Anniversary Universal Collector Series release of E.T., the little booklet and everything. And then to go along with E.T., my one of my guilty pleasure movies, we'll get to some of your guilty pleasure movies, but my guilty Mine pleasure quality. movie, Mac and Me, this horrible, horrible movie. I've always loved it Let since I was a kid. Let me know if you've watched this movie. It's terrible. And if it's scarred you for life, because it's, it's terrible, scarred me for life. We have it on almost every format. <laughs> the Alien Anthology Collection. This is a cool, this was an early Blu-ray that we got, one of our first ones. Alien, Aliens, 3, and Resurrection, big booklet, all kinds of extra features ton of stuff. It's a nice box set. Uh, the older Blu-ray and 3D Blu-ray version of Avatar. The first one, and then eventually the really second, then third, fourth, fifth, box set, whatever. Forbidden Planet. Sci-fi classic. And 2001, A Space Odyssey. Another sci-fi classic. But and the another sci-fi classic. The best one. Love. Never give up. Never surrender. Like Rob Flowers Hammer. It's Galaxy Quest. Yeah. This is a gorgeous steelbook. I love this one. Yes, we both love Galaxy Quest. We have... Schwarzenegger's Predator 3G. 3G. V. The, the 80s miniseries. Life Force. You still need to watch pretty, that one. I need to watch those. You'd this like is it a very pretty It's color. canon films, and you like canon films. I love these. It's about sexy films. space vampires. My favorite thing. Speaking of favorite thing, the thing. Mm. Not my favorite thing. Carpenter. This is a really pretty edition of I Planet like of the Apes. This yeah. is the Legacy Collection. All the original The original ones. This is not yeah. any any of the new ones. Love those. Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Ew. It's the first few episodes together as a movie. Ew. I know you don't like Battlestar Galactica. I like ba the original Battlestar Galactica. This is a great movie. Fantastic Voyage. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool movie. Okay. Ex Machina. I just like saying that. And The Last Starfighter. Another fun 80s movie. So we're going to switch 
Because Mana doesn't want to touch my, want my touch pile these. over here. I don't want to touch this pile. So this is a beautiful, another beautiful steel book. We have a lot yeah, of steel books yeah. of Mothra. Yeah. Mill Creek steel book. What is that Mill Creek steel book? Mm -hmm. This is a cool edition of like Star Wars. It's the the you, three originals. Yeah, even though it's the altered versions, like yeah, I, we can't get the copy. original. Yeah. And then we have this is Empire. Mm -hmm. Empire Strikes Back. This is a steel book. Very cool version. And Rogue One. Just my favorite of the new ones. It's kind of the only good one of the new ones. I enjoy it. This was okay. Enough the Force, that I would rewatch it. The Force it. Awakens. This is in 4K. It had, it had I don't know. This no, is just regular, just I don't know why case. it's black because it's yeah. confusing me. Yeah. This was a surprise. You like that a lot more. I, I like this. I was a lot. mixed. I was mixed. This is the Steelbook of Total yeah. Recall. Look how pretty everybody is. It's okay. I like Kate Beckinsale in it, but when do you not like Kate Beckinsale? Um, Men in Black. They 90s classic. This is Jurassic Park 3D. Yeah. Blu-ray DVD combo 2D. This this I, was great. I am so happy this that it went to theaters. Annihilation. That. that was a surprise. Such an amazing one. And this is 4K. And then The Arrival. And this is a Steelbook edition. And what a smart sci-fi. And talking about no. smart sci-fi, now we have Blade Runner. Uh, this is the 4K regular and a regular Blu-ray of the final cut. This is a special Taiwanese release of the original Blade Runner. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo of Blade Runner 2049. Wake up! Don't go to sleep. This is the 4K version of Blade Runner 2049. And this is my favorite. This is my, like, baby. This is my Korean release of all kinds of special stuff with a particular cover of Blade Runner 2049. Beautiful. A lot of Blade Runner. Moving on. Now we have this giant, beautiful Arrow video release of Legend. Ridley Scott's one of the best fantasy movies ever. Another one, one of the best. This is a really cool Digibook, 30th anniversary edition of Labyrinth. Bowie. The Steelbook oh. of Labyrinth. Bowie. And if we have Labyrinth, we have to have the Dark Crystal. Because boys are useless. <laughs> Just because we can't fly. This is a gorgeous oh. Japanese-only edition of The NeverEnding Story. It's three discs, includes two different versions of the movie, hours of behind-the-scenes, crazy amount of and stuff. And the audio is much better. Than it's so much better than the other Blu-ray version. This is perfect. Then we have the older standalone of uh, NeverEnding Story, and, like, this is a huge upgrade. This the Japanese audio version. is yeah. noticeably This is so... I, I'm so happy I grabbed that Japan exclusive. This is decent, but, like, oh my gosh, that book. And then NeverEnding Story 2. This is one of the first, I think this is one of the first 3D yeah, movies yeah. we got. It's, Warcraft! Ugh. Yeah! You liked it more because... I enjoyed you, this. But you haven't played Warcraft in that. So that's like, that's yeah. probably yeah. why. This is a three film collection of something very rare. The theatrical versions of Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. Wow. See it every other... Why do we have that? We have so many other versions I know, of that. Way. And it's theatrical. Yeah. It's Conan the Barbarian. Yes. And then... And then Conan the Destroyer. The Destroyer. <sighs> Cheesy 80s classic. I love it. Hated Masters it as a the kid, universe. but I love it now. Yep. Billy Barty. It was good. Mm -hmm. Shape of Water. Yeah, you're going to be mad about this one. <sighs> it's it's awful, but I love it. It's terrible, but... Cold Conqueror. Conqueror. I love the, like, the cheesy... Cover, the fake, yeah, fake VHS slip <sighs> cover with Kevin Sorbo. Much better. One of you, yeah. Brothers Grimm. Yes. That's my genre of choice. Ugh. Steelbook of Van Helsing. Or Kate Beckinsale. This is the comic mm -hmm. version. Yeah, they did a bunch of We those. do have a couple of those. Yeah. This is such an underrated one. I love it. I love it. It's Hansel and Gretel. It was a lot better. Witch than Hunters. I, it was a lot better than I expected. This was this is the unrated cut. Yeah, you gotta go, go in expecting cut. like a fun B movie experience. Then Which you're gonna is my, love it. That's my then favorite gonna, genre. Yeah, it's, B fantasy. It, that one surprised me. My favorite. And this is Batman Returns. This is the Steelbook nice. with. Beautiful Danny DeVito. It's my personal favorite we Batman movie. We love him. Yes. We love him. Next up, getting into the superhero movies, we have Super Super. Wonder Woman, uh, which was actually like decent. The sequel is not any good. Then we have Hellboy. Yeah. The another one of those comic ones, like you're saying, of Hellboy Two, the Golden Army Steelbook. The so new David Arbor Hellboy. This is not. It's okay, but like it this could have been so much better been if they so didn't mess better. with it. They, yeah, the deleted scenes are amazing. Yeah, we talked about how if they let it alone and let it be its own thing, it would have been better. But then we get all the Underworld movies. Underworld, oh. Rise of the Lycans. <sighs> be still my heart. Underworld. Underworld Evolution. 
Final World Awakening of the 3D. 3D. And also the 3D of Blood Wars. How does she look so good? She's, yeah. It's like magic. She is a vampire. Now we're getting into some... Yes, a whole bunch of Interesting. Yeah. These are Own the Moments collection. Yeah. It's Daredevil, Electra, and League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The bottom one. That's, that's where it's at. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, man. Now we have Iron Man, the three movie collection. Mm -hmm. We got these kind of save space. Yeah, so I we, love these collections. Neither of us are huge Marvel fans. We kind of like them. It's kind of fun, but it's not, you know. So it's not our life. Yeah, we wanted to have this is the Thor versions. collection, Thor. three movies. We have the Captain America collection, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I can't wait to watch the new one, which came out. I'm kind of, meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. I like these guys. Oh, I do. Those the are, yeah, of the ones, so yeah, the funny ones, good. but I'm still just, I'm so over them. Then this is the Avengers 4 movie collection. These are the, like, epic movies. <sighs> Doctor Strange. That's disappointing. The two that I didn't like right in a row. Doctor Strange and Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Black this one was Panther. Good. You liked this. I did like that one a lot. Black Widow. And then this is the Spider-Man Far From Home. Mm -hmm. This is just the first two. And then I have the And then we one. have the third one in 4K. Because that was my favorite of all the this modern... This one was... Of all the was, modern superhero but stuff. But it, it, it put everything together. But I really... I like Spider-Man a lot, so. And then we also have the Multiverse of mm -hmm. Madness. This was great. Yeah, I, I had to rewatch that. Sam Raimi. Yeah. That was fantastic. And then... My man. Deadpool. Deadpool. So bad. So, and continuing on, we have... Deadpool number two. I can't wait for number three. I know. T. Jackman. It's oh. great. Now we're going to go into the X-Men. This is X-Men. Then we have X-Men United. I prefer at least to the other Marvel movies, even if they're not as popular. Last Stand. The Wolverine. First Class. This is our only, I think, steel book. For the X-Men, yeah. Apocalypse. For X-Men. This is Apocalypse. I, I love the steel books. It's so nice to have steel books. Um, this is the Rogue Cut yeah, of cut. Days of Future yeah, Past. Past. This the is the one you like the best. Yeah. Uh, Dark Phoenix. <sighs> of course, Logan. And Logan. Then we have the Steelbook Edition of Indiana Jones, the, at the time, Complete Adventures. Now five's coming out. Uh, but yeah, it has all of them in the Steelbook. Uh, this beautiful Steelbook of <sighs> the Mummy Ultimate Collection. I love that. That's it's such one, a two, and three, and the first Scorpion King with the Rock. Beautiful collection. The 4K of the Mummy. And then we have uh, one of my favorites I know you don't like, The Legend of Zorro, Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. I love that movie. One of one of your cheesy B action movies, I, Dead this Mind. Is, this is a great movie. You should check it out. Yeah, that is Amanda's really genre of cheesy action movies. I really like this with Angelina Jolie, Those Who Wish Me Dead. I will not watch that. I like most things she's in. More Angelina Jolie, The Tomb Raider, Lara Croft movies, The Steelbook, the first one. And then we got the second one, nice beautiful steelbooks. This really cool steelbook of Leon the Professional. It's the only Luc Besson film I actually like. And uh, this is fantastic. No, it's not. It's fantastic. It's awesome. Just no, because, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Air Force One. That's got to be super rare, right? <laughs> yeah. Nobody is that. Now we're getting into Stefan movies. Yeah, Amanda said she doesn't want anything to do with this stack, so this will be all me. <laughs> The first but one's not bad. Sucker, yeah, the extended cut of Sucker Punch. Why well, it's important to advertise a movie to the right audience. Yeah, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, one of my favorite 80s movies, my favorite John Carpenter movie. The first Mortal Kombat. Why oh, is that a movie? Great. Uh, your your dad just gave this to me recently. The A-Team, the newer like movie based on the, the old series. Die Hard, Bruce Willis. The That's a Christmas old... movie too, isn't it? I, that's so stupid. Just because it takes place. Don't even get me started on that shit. But uh, Commando, one of the better Schwarzenegger movies. Really fun. This is a cool Arnold collection. I have the same on DVD, the same uh, collection. It's weird, though. It has some old ones and some new ones. It's bizarre. It has Total Recall, The Last Stand, Terminator 2, Red Heat, Maggie, and Hercules in New York. Why? Fine chariot, but where are your horses? Like, he's fantastic. Uh, Charlie's Angels. One of my guilty pleasures is all the Charlie's Angels series and everything. And now we're getting into Jackie. Okay. And I have in this protective case... Buckle um, up! Yeah, two different versions of Drunken Master 2 or The Legend of Drunken Master. This is the U.S. Blu-ray, which has the English dub, and this is the Japanese special edition box set. 
Then we have another copy of Drunken Master 2. This is the War Archives release. Just in case you didn't have enough Drunken, Drunken Master. Drunken Master. The extended original cut, also War Archives of Mr. Nice Guy. I like that one. Then we have Wheels on Meals. This is the Japanese edition. I've seen that edition, so many times. Because I have like multiple laser discs of it and everything. I've watched it many times. This is a cool Miramax multi-feature. But it has, obviously, it has these two backwards, the Armor of God movies, as they released here. It has Operation Condor 1 and 2, Project A 1 and 2, and these are actually reversed. And then my favorite is Armor of God 2, the one we released here is Operation Condor 1. So I have the Japanese special edition of Armor of God 2. I feel like you need, like, a, a manual a chart. to, like, Then we have some very mediocre modern Jackie stuff, but a little collection. Bleeding Steel, Dragon Blade... And my least favorite Jackie movie ever, Skip Trace. Really? You like the 80 Days Around the World? Right? Even, yeah, more than Skip Trace. Wow. Skip Trace is the one with, uh, what's his name, Johnny Knoxville, and like a, a good modern Jackie movie, The Foreigner. That was a good drama. And then we have Rumble in the Bronx, first Jackie movie I ever saw on VHS, classic. Now the Police Story movies, Police Story 1, import version of that. The import remastered collection of Police Story 2. The Police Story 1 and 2 Criterion Collection. And Jackie Chan First Strike, which is Police Story 4. Thing in with more Jackie. More Jackie. Uh, this is the import version of the Canton Godfather, also known as Miracles or Black Dragon or uh, Lady Rose and Mr. Canton. And there's, there's six different titles for this across the world. I feel but like I need a whole wall of like the little. It is Fortune Star release. This is, what is one of Jackie's favorite directing experiences, even though it didn't do it particularly well. This is really cool. Uh, the Lucky Star Trilogy Blu ray box set. A very recent release. I did a whole video on the pickups here. This is the Dragons Forever Blu ray box set with the, the art book and everything in there included. Then we have the Rush Hour Trilogy, which is a really interesting art, I think, for Rush it's Hour. It's really pretty. And the slipcover is yep. nice, too. The Karate Kid, the Jackie Chan one, not no, the original. That's not Jackie Chan Karate one. Kid. And then we move into this is a fun action Hong Kong movie, The Inspector Wear Skirts. And there are a bunch of those of you know, uh, lady cops in training. The Curse of the Golden Flower, one of my favorite. I, I'm a sucker for melodrama. And this really? Is, this you? Is, yeah. This uh, ain't my favorite Ang Lee movie. Yes, even over Overcrouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. I uh, imported the special edition Blu-ray box set version of this because uh, this is my favorite movie of That's his. like one of your top ten that I need to watch. It's like, yes, you need to watch that. Uh, this is the only uh, Ozu movie that we have, Tokyo Twilight. So that's one of, my, one of my favorites. You were looking at him in the director's thing on the HBO Max, whatever. Uh, Giants and Toys, all about commercialization of the Japanese like you know, TV landscape and stuff. That's a good classic movie. Uh, then we have The Ocean. This is the new... Newer movie, you actually might like this. This is the one that I have, like, the old series of yes. Laserdiscs. It looks Remember just that? like her. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's really weird. Uh, Popoya, the Railroad uh, Man, which is all about an old railroad in a small town closing down. It's really kind of cool, and I like anything in Hokkaido. Uh, this Color Me True is a beautiful film all about the love of film. Really, really cool movie. Uh, then Flying Colors. And Maki Horikita, one of the few that has English, Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac. I have something better. One that you discovered, though, this is really was fun. This was a Netflix That's show fun. that yeah. I love. This is Housebound. Mm -hmm. Check this out before they remake it and destroy it. This is fantastic. Are they, are they remaking that? Like I think American? they keep talking about remaking it, but it's this funny. is New it's Zealand, really, yeah, yeah, it was New Zealand. It's, it's great. Absolutely yeah, amazing. The humor. One that's not so great. I don't think you just like that. It's better it was, than the better than the, the remake. You watched yeah, that. This is the collector's remake. edition yeah. of this is the original one. And yeah. Much better than the yeah. remake. But yeah. I made you eh. watch that because we saw the remake together. Yes. You haven't seen it. Alright, continuing with Hall Halloween. I guess I'm getting into horror now. Halloween. Yep. Classic. And this is a double pack. This is Thirteen Ghosts and Thirteen Frightened Girls. Yeah, it's a William Castle collection. And the reason we have this is because one of my favorite B movies yes, you love. is 13 Ghosts. This is the special edition, or collector's edition rather, with the slipcase. I love this movie. I think it's a great movie. I think it's super underrated. The Lost Boys. Still need to see that. Great 80s movie. Probably my favorite vampire movie. I have not seen it. Nightmare on Elm Street. 
people under the stairs. That's funny. So that's underrated. underrated. Yeah, Such that's, a that's great really movie. funny. I like the horror comedy yeah, genre. I, prefer horror I comedy. think it's yeah. so much better. This is the extended director's cut of mm -hmm. The Exorcist. Now, one of my terrible B movies that I like in that. This is, I don't know why we still own it's this. It's horrendous. This is it's horrible. Terrible. This is a Blu-ray, 3D, and 2D plus DVD of American Mummy. It's awful. And you see this mummy, but you don't actually see. Oh, but the you mummy. don't see. It doesn't look like that, like that CG thing. Like you no. don't see the mummy. It's, it's not terrible. The mummy. Don't buy it. But it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is another steelbook of Stephen King's It. Yes, the and original miniseries. I like that with Tim Curry. This is the Tim Curry. Not the new it. movies. Yep. And then Creature from the Black Lagoon. I love that with the 3D, and like that's a great classic. So this is movie. 3D and 2D yeah. versions. I have not seen great any of them. Great classic. Uh, another silly classic horror: Killer Clowns from Outer Space. No. That's really funny. Patrick is trying to get me to play the game that's coming out of this, the online one. No. Another horror classic. <sighs> Only the first one matters: Sleepaway Camp, the collector's edition. That it's was the most horrific, like, ending fantastic. of a movie I've ever no, seen in this my movie, life. This movie is a carpenter's dream. It is hilarious. Wow. Then we have the 4K edition of The Shining. I do like that cover up. Kind of one. moving in different levels of Just, <laughs> of a, just a little different. <laughs> the Shining. This is a really cool, this is a South Korean import version of uh, Dario Argento's Suspiria. Not a big Jalo fan in general, but I love Suspiria, the original one. Uh, and then we have David Cronenberg's The Fly, the remake the fly. of The Fly. Definitely one of those. Oh, it's the, a remake? Yeah, the 80s one. Yeah, the original one is Vincent Price. Okay. But the steelbook of the first Evil Dead. Here big we go. Big Evil Dead fan. Get ready. This is. I love this. this. Is, yeah, this is one of my favorite steelbooks. The Evil Dead 2. This is a beauty. I love the way this looks. It's really Evil nice. Dead 2. And then this is the 25th anniversary edition of Evil Dead 2. And move into. Starting moving to Hitchcock. We have Psycho. My favorite Hitchcock, North by Northwest. No, no, oh, no. It's beautiful, no, Cary no, no. Grant, and it's just. You actually enjoyed this. I did. Rear like Window. This. Absolute classic. And the next one I'm making you watch, Vertigo. Now moving to some all time classics with Casablanca. This is the shelf Amanda has never watched. Uh, the Ten Commandments. We were just talking about this today. Charlton Heston. That we have the other versions in other uh, formats. Uh, this, I love this Fritz Lang Indian epic. This is a German Indian epic movie. It's it's massive. Uh, the Tiger at Veshkampur and the Indian Tomb. If you have like four hours to, to watch this whole thing. All of these movies are like five hours and long. The, and the booklet that comes with it. Cleopatra, Elizabeth Taylor. One of my personal favorites. I've seen this movie. Yeah, The Towering Inferno. OJ. I've watched this so many times. I, love I the, know you have. I love The Towering Inferno. Airport. I like all of them, but this is the first original one is the classic. Poseidon Adventure. Seen that one. The one that you introduced me to, Deep Blue Sea. Yay! Amanda movie. Then we get to Good Morning Vietnam. Robin Williams. And Karate Kid. The real Karate Kid. We have a, a DVD box set of like all the Karate Kid movies, but our two favorites, one and two, we have the Blu-rays of just those two. Then we move into Rocky. I have my favorites on here. I have Rocky. I, know, I think eight copies of most of the Rocky movies, but on Blu-ray we have Rocky, Rocky Two, my favorite in the entire franchise, and then Rocky Four. This is a good one. This is yeah. This is with Drew Barrymore, Ever After. It's fantastic. I do love that movie. Super overrated. What? Oh, Pulp the next one. I, Pulp Fiction. I'm not a huge Quentin Tarantino, but I do like Pulp Fiction a lot. This is this is one I think you might, you would like if I can make you watch it. But Sunset Boulevard. What is her face doing? Yeah, <laughs> Sunset Boulevard. I think you would like that one. This is one that you have to. Watch what you did watch, but we have the 80th anniversary Frank Capra collection version of Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, and I say Amanda is required to watch this because she has seen the Adam Sandler Mr. Deeds, but has because, not seen this. Because he originally told me to watch this. So, so instead, I... you watch Adam Sandler's Mr. Deeds, which is like. That's sacrilege. Which one do you think is better? You have to Let watch Let me know that. which one you think is better. This is a special gold case Italian import of Gilda with Rita Hayworth. Wow. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. I like the cover on that. Like, I like the... This was a surprise to the me. Indicator. Yeah, the indicator. I they like the just indicator. There just aren't a lot from Indicator that I want. But uh, Peter Sellers in Hoffman. This looks like a horrible movie. I loved this movie. <laughs> this was great. Uh, Lolita. And then this is my favorite Louise Brooks silent movie, Beggars of Life. 
continuing with the boring old people movies? We have, I really wish more Clara Bow was on Blu-ray, is so little, because Children of Divorce, really happy as exists, but it's not one of my favorites. I have a lot of hers in other formats, but we need more Clara, Blo uh, Clara Bow on Blu-ray. Can't get that out. Clara Bow on Blu-ray. Uh, Wings, of course, though, that is the one that always comes out on every format. Uh, one of the first Best Picture winners, Clara Bow. Uh, Marriage Italian Style with Sophia Loren. Yes, this is the Sophia Loren Award Collection version of Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. Stuff unlike Sophia Loren. Yeah. Now, uh, here's one of your, oh. your things. We have The Disaster Artist, because Amanda's a big fan of the room and everything. You read the book, and you're all into that. We still do watch this. We don't watch this one yet. No. The Best Friends, Volume 1 and 2. One of my favorites, I actually just rewatched this about a week ago. Barefoot in the Park. Why Jane is Fonda, that after Tommy Wiseau movies? Oh, I don't know. Eventually, towards the end, some things kind of got a little mixed up. But... <laughs> Okay. Also, yeah. like Barefoot in the Park, no. is Will Ferrell's Will Land, Land, of the Lost. Land of the Lost. This is one of the few that we need to get a regular DVD version because most yeah. of our Will Ferrell movies are on, on DVD. Just, yeah. Now we're getting into the comedies. I love this one. This is, I think, my favorite Mel Brooks. Yeah, it's it's Young Frankenstein. Yeah, it might be. My, if I had to pick a favorite, I would say this is probably basically the my three favorite. that we have on Blu-ray are my favorites. The other ones we have on DVD. Blazing Saddles mm -hmm. and Spaceballs. Space this you can do. You can do these. I'm oh, I can do. I can do the rest of that. You can do those. Still looking for that out of print box set. It's infuriating. I spent years looking for it. Uh, the Pink Panther movies, but for now we have the individual releases of the Pink Panther. I like the original. David one. Niven. You like David Niven, I think. I like David Niven. I think that was. And then a Return of the Pink Panther, the imprint film release. Still it's looking, pretty. Still looking for that box set. This is a really cool Italian release of. Uh, uh, the Millionaires with Peter Sellers and Sophia Loren, the one dated together. It has a really cool, I'm going to take the disc out, artwork on the inside. And from this we got the really cool music album, Peter and Sophia, with this collaboration. This is one I think you would like, Mr. Peabody and the Mermaid with William Powell. It's a very charming movie. One of my favorite William Powell movies, one that Merlo is not in. Uh, and then we got Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Chevy Chase 30th anniversary edition of National Lampoon's Vacation. Amanda does makes not like vacation movies. Makes me physically ill. European Vacation. Chevy Chase makes me ill. Overboard, do you like I this like one? I like this one. I love Kurt Russell. The gorgeous steelbook of Ghostbusters, the first one. I think this is a cool design on that one. I wish I liked Ghostbusters more. You don't like the, you don't I like the first it, one. I like it, but it's not yeah. my favorite. Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie. Just an episode, the but behind the, the behind the scenes are better than the movie. They're fantastic and really fascinating. And then one of my favorite comedies ever. This one of my racist. favorite comedies ever, My Cousin Vinny. It's just because everyone is like painfully Italian and you're New York Italian and you, yeah. It's brilliant. No. Immersive to to Tomei in this movie. The next one shouldn't be in this section. I don't, I don't know I why know it's it technically the Marvel and Superior Please. but I think it just goes in generic comedy. I don't Please let him know that To me, that those he's are wrong. like a franchise. Like, I don't know. Let him weird. know that he's wrong, because this is a Marvel movie. You hate movie. this movie, and I think oh, it's, it's a horrible movie. I think it's hilarious. But this is a Marvel movie, technically. Fine, okay, technically, I can put it there if you want, if you want. Howard the Duck. I know technically, Let but... me know what you think. Should this movie be with the comedies, or should it be with the Marvel movies? I think movies? technically, but I don't know. I feel so differently about it. What do you think? Let us know. time. I don't know. But how Let us know. Revenge, Revenge of the Nerds. Nerds. I don't know anything about that because I'm not a nerd. Uh, Jingle All the Way. It's like a guilty Christmas movie plugger. Mrs. Doubtfire. I love this movie. The weirdest, like most perfect casting of any yeah, movie these people were, in the history they are the cartoon characters. <laughs> of the universe. Popeye. Mm -hmm. I don't like Popeye very everyone. much. Everyone. Everyone from the guy who was Bluto. Like, you everyone. couldn't Shelley cast Duvall this is, better. No one else is... Th All there's oil. physically no one that could do these yeah, things. Brilliant movie. Yes. This I, was actually a really funny movie. See, I, I made did you not watch them. Crocodile Dundee 1 and 2. 1 is really good. Really, really funny. You didn't want to watch this. I made you watch it. That. Yes. This is. The ending where they just let Tim Curry just like. Yes. And this has all the different ballistic. ending variations of this Clue. Is Clue, the movie. Where it's an hour and a half of build up to Tim Curry losing. Tim it, Curry just great. having his moment. Oh, one of my favorites. Beetlejuice. This was also perfectly cast. Yes. I love that movie. Yeah. I don't like these movies. Two good movies, one okay movie. No. Austin Powers. The Austin Powers collection. Mm -hmm. It's a triple feature. Yeah. No. Not not my thing. Les Mis, eh. As not far quite as, as perfect casting. As far <laughs> as the 
the movie versions of Les Mis, yeah. this is the, yeah, the by far one. the yeah. best, but... Hugh eh. Jackman knocks it out of the park. Say what oh, you will yeah. about anyone else in that movie, Hugh Jackman <laughs> Russell, Russell Crowe, not so much. Or Hugh Jackman. Uh, greatest Showman. And, oh, one of my favorites of all time, Little Shop of Horrors. They should have kept the original ending. Yeah. I don't know why they couldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, it's just an People extra feature need... in there. But, oh, beautiful. What a musical that I like that you do not no. like. Also with no. Catherine Zeta-Jones. No. We have Chicago, the no. Diamond Edition. Love that. Getting into now, the rest is my Kino Lorber releases. Getting into some classic Peter Sellers with The Party. My all-time favorites. And along with Victor Mature, we have After the Fox. That theme song is stuck in my head for the rest of my life. Uh, the Art of Love, Dick Van Dyke and Elkut Summer. Which is fantastic. Then we have Claudette Colbert in The Gilded Lily. Easy Living. I don't know what any of these things are. These are all fantastic. Bad Girl. I Wake Up Screaming. Is that my life? Yeah, I was going to say, it reminds me of also Victor Mature, and this is Betty Grable. This is really good noir. A TV movie that I had to get, even though this is just okay. It's an okay TV movie, but The Victim starring Elizabeth Montgomery. So why does that one have a slipcover and the other ones don't? Uh, well, I guess the next some one of them, the next one too. These are newer releases, so maybe they just started because I haven't had I don't have that many. But these are newer. These are like came out like a year ago, and the only Kino Lober we have on 4K, Some Like It Hot, Marilyn Monroe. That's a good movie. Yes, fantastic, classic. Speaking of Some Like It Hot, we have Some Like It Hot, regular Blu-ray, How to Marry a Millionaire, Niagara, The Seven Year Itch. It's almost like you're. A fan of Marilyn. River of No Return. Oh, we have so much Marilyn. I am not. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. The Misfits. Last movie Clark Gable ever did. He died right after release. Really, really good drama. Uh, this is Marilyn Declassified. Uh, it's a documentary mostly about her death. It's, it's one of like ten Marilyn documentaries that we own. Uh, and then from the now defunct, really cool Twilight Times Blu-ray release are, line. These are a cool line. I love these. And they're all, every one of these is limited to, I think, 3,000 copies when they came out. And I have two of Don't Bother to Knock, my watch copy, and my sealed copy, the most underrated Marilyn Monroe movie ever. Then we have How to Steal a Million, which you saw I've part of that. it. You thought, yeah, I've seen like three quarters of that. Uh, Take a Girl Like You. Like me? Yeah, like you. Like me. Pin Up Girl. Betty Grable, classic pose. Uh, this is a really good uh, classic Japanese movie, The Yellow Handkerchief, which has a terrible American remake. Then we have the uh, Criterion Blu-rays. Don't have many, most of them are on DVD, but we have I Married a Witch. I love that movie. Fantastic. It's my this girlfriend. Is yeah, Veronica Lake. She is, yeah, brilliant. One of the two movies that led to Bewitched. One of the greatest movies of all time, My Man Godfrey. William Powell. Pan's Labyrinth. So beautiful. So sexual. And then we have, from the beginning, now we're starting the Warner Archive collection, uh, we have two of the Bogey and Bacall movies, To Have and Have Not, and Key Largo is definitely my two favorites they did together. Now we get into the rest of the Warner Archive. We have a lot of Warner Archive. Yeah, and they're, they're going strong, so. We start with Libeled Lady. Ooh. Love that one. And now we get into The Thin Man. One of my favorite movie franchises, The Thin Man. Then we have After the Thin Man, Another Thin Man, Shadow of the Thin Man, The Thin Man Goes Home, one, of the, one of the best of the later ones. I think that one's super underrated. And then we have Song of the Thin Man. I think it's weird the dog's name is Asta and it's a boy dog. Asta what? just seems like a, a girl's name to me. This one is great. Mr. Blanding's builds his dream house, Cary Grant. And Myrna Loy, uh, this is a timeless That's classic. That's another one That's I've seen, really like, funny. half of the movie. Used, like, a million times just walking in on me watching it. I, I've seen that one so many times. The Prize, uh, Paul Newman and Elka Summer. That one's really fun. Sunday in New York, another good Jane Fonda romantic movie. Barbara Stanwyck and Ladies They Talk About. This is, you actually, I think, uh, this is one that you would, would think you wouldn't like, but I think you would enjoy it. Uh, Dinner at Eight. Is that... John Barrymore. Yes. Yeah, John that... Barrymore, Gene Harlow, Lionel Barrymore, all the Barrymores, including oh. one of, yes, Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then we have this Warner Archive 2 collection. I still collection, need to watch that. Genesis 2 and Planet Earth. These are both Fiend Roddenberry ideas. 
productions. The original, the RKO, Howard Hawks, The Thing from Another World. <gasps> Remake is better, but still a good classic. This is a recent release that I'm really happy came out, Our Dancing Daughters, and I think it bodes well for the future of silent films. And then, one of the funniest movies ever made, this, between me and your mother, you've had to have seen 50 times, The Long Long Trailer. He just sits and laughs. I do. And yeah. laughs. Yeah, I could sit there. And laughs. And just giggle. We have a PBS documentary. Yes, yeah, moving documentaries now. This is Prohibition. It's Ken and Burns. Apparently, Stefan thinks this is important. I to keep no, in I it. have because this is this is one of my favorite documentaries of all time. All the PBS Ken Burn ones, all the um, American Experience ones are good. This one is just I I, don't, I love this one. I've seen this on TV. I think. Mm -hmm. The Cave of Forgotten Dreams in 3D. I can't wait to try that. I still haven't tried it out in 3D yet, because then to explore the cave, like... Yeah, I mean... I, I want to try that Such out. a great documentary. Yeah. We have Yosemite, the High Sierras. Sierras. Glacier National Park. What? The IMAX version of Deep Sea 3D. This and is then, cool. I don't understand why this is so long. This is it's so It's like, long. what is it, six hours? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Of just exploring Italy. Magnificent it's like, Italia. It's this just is, like drone shots and things of Italy this and music. This is and... so much. But it'll be important when Venice goes under the water. So, <laughs> which is imminent. Thing with documentaries. Still missing one from the series that I want, the action hero one. But we have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark edition of In Search of Darkness, all about 80s horror movies, and In Search of Tomorrow, 80s sci-fi. Just need to get the action... Hero one to have the rest of those. And then we have Cosmos, uh, Space Time Odyssey, the new one with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Love him. This is a really good documentary. I liked this. All about Betty Page. No, you're thinking of the, um, the Burlesque, Burlesque. Burlesque oh. one. Yeah, this is, this is different. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that one's on DVD. Sorry. Yeah, but I know what you're going to talk about. That's Alan Alda. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, this is the Exotic Dances of Betty Page. This is specifically just Betty Page. That was like all Gen of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one, so it's all about Betty Page, and it has a bunch of her routines and stuff on here as well. So that's really cool. This is a J uh, Japanese import, the Final Fantasy IX soundtrack disc. This is the entire soundtrack to Final Fantasy IX on Blu-ray because the whole soundtrack is played to video and images of the game while it's playing, like the appropriate scenes, like if it plays during a cutscene or a moment. Now, did they like really remaster cool. the scenes? Yeah, they look like really good on Blu-ray. They don't like look like you're just a washed out like PS One plugged in, or they look really good. And they did so, this with Final Fantasy VII also, I think. Nine, they had like already remastered part of it. Well, just the visuals are of the okay. right quality. Like it doesn't look. It looks really nice, and it's just cool to have the entire soundtrack plus the visuals to go along with it. Just brilliant. Uh, now we're getting into TV shows. Ninety percent of our TV is just on DVD or laserdisc. That's or VHS. the easiest way to get it. I think. Yeah. So we don't have a whole lot on Blu-ray, but we do have some of my favorites. My three favorite seasons of The Dick Van Dyke Show. Season 3, all remastered with tons of extra features. Se season 4, and then the final season, Season 5. And then I would have all of Lucy if they hadn't stopped. <laughs> but they only did the first two seasons of Isle of Lucy on these... I mean, I, I sound exasperated because they put the people that did this put so much love into these. These are brilliantly remastered and the special content and like... These are fantastic. But season one and two, Lucy Ultimate Edition, and then I have another copy of season two, my favorite season of Lucy, and they just, they stopped. They wouldn't, didn't do any more of them. I don't know if just the amount of work was too much, but, uh. yeah. And then with a slipcase, we the complete first season of Charmed. Ew. I know Amanda does not like. Then we have some much Twilight better. Zone. We have, again, this is one where we have the whole thing on DVD, and we have on Blu-ray some fan favorites disc with a bunch of classic episodes and my two favorite seasons two and three i know the majority of people are going to say season one is their favorite uh, but for me two and three are my How personal would you favorites even, i have absolutely no idea well, what is in what season i know well because we mostly grew up like you especially with just random channel. reruns on sci-fi i've yeah. never seen like episode one episode two yeah. episode three yeah. it was just me, two, the sci-fi channel three and three starts with the elizabeth montgomery episode so it has a bonus point oh okay then Love this set. This is one of my favorite box sets. A complete series of Charlie's Angels. Is that do, who do, came out with that do, one? Uh, this was a Mill Creek. Oh, it's Mill Creek. Mill Creek. Right. I love my Mill Creek. Even includes the very short-lived, like later TV series. that was a bomb, whatever. But includes all the original series, and it looks fantastic. This is actually one of the few cases where a TV show on Blu-ray is a huge upgrade. Sometimes it's not that big of a deal, but this big upgrade. 
Continuing with TV, kind of the same fashion, have all of seasons I want on DVD, just my favorites on Blu-ray. We have season two and season six of South Park. My two favorites, like classic South Park, and then one that we always watch together, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the Christmas special. And then we have season seven. And now we're getting into these newer releases of The Little Rascals. They did the whole thing. I've picked out some favorite uh, ones that have all the shorts that we really like. All Those the are the ones volumes. I grew up with. Yeah, the restored ones. Um, so, two, three, four, and five. And then my Japanese Blu-ray editions of Columbo. And each one of these are two episode collections. Did you know that so, Columbo has a glass eye? I didn't beautiful. know Columbo. Yeah. So I picked all my eye. all my favorite episodes. <laughs> we have like the two different um, premieres, Negative Reaction with Dick Van Dyke, By Dawn's Early Light, A Friend Indeed, An Exercise in Fatality, Any Old Port in the Storm, it's a really good one, and Candidate for a Crime. And these are all remastered Japanese Blu-ray editions. But nobody cares about those. <sighs> but everybody cares about this. Well, yes, that is good. Everybody cares about this. This is Firefly, the mm -hmm. complete series, even though it's not anymore because the books are out. And you yes, should read the books are. because the books continue this. And get this. this version of the Blu-ray. It's been released twice on Blu-ray. Oh, and the one, the one that has the exact same cover as the DVD set is not as good. Oh. So, okay. Get that. Then we have Serenity. This is the limited limited edition of the Steelbook. Oh, Another one of the comic, comic ones. I love this movie. So beautiful. This is Ash versus the Evil Dead. This is the third season. My favorite season overall. Might be a controversial pick, but it's my <gasps> favorite season. Do you agree? And then we have the, is this Japanese? First one is. Don't this we do is, this? Yes. Uh, and again, we have it all on DVD. My favorite season is The X-Files. This is the Japanese edition of season one. This is a really good copy. Uh, this is the US edition of season two. My f two favorite seasons. And then season 11, I have on Blu-ray because when I was looking around, it was half the price of the DVD. So, like, okay, so I got that on Blu-ray. I don't know why we have this on Blu-ray. Supernatural, just season four. But this is also like the X-Files, just the newer version. Just very CW version. Yeah, the CW <laughs> version of X-Files, season four. Now, continuing on with more TV shows, another beautiful Mill Creek collection, I Dream of Jeannie, the complete series. They gotta do Bewitched next. They have to do Bewitched next. But I Dream of Jeannie. The lesser version. Yes, yes, age. yes, that's true. And now getting into Farscape, this is the 15th anniversary edition of the whole series, season one, two. I like the covers. I three. like the white. I, I do like these. Yeah, we have the matching DVD and the Starburst and whatever, and then season four. And then the different company owns the rights to the Peacekeeper Wars, the miniseries. So it's, it's never, so weird that that happened. The only way to get it on Blu ray in the US is part of a box set of the whole thing that was released. It's, a, it's really expensive. So instead I have two different import versions. This is the Australian region free Blu-ray release of the Peacekeeper Wars. And this is the German region free uh, with a slip case release and they released it as season five. Which is what it Which is. is yeah, it yeah. is season five. But this is the German and they're both region free so those are good to get. Next we have something we don't have in any other format, <laughs> any other way. In case you can tell, she's sarcastic. We have the extended cut of Stargate. This mm. is the movie, which is... I love the movie. I know you do. I love the movie so much. And then we have Atlantis, the fan's choice, because Stefan really likes these, yeah. like... And we'll get to SG-1 later, because we have a thing of box that's over. Yeah, that's yeah. Over. But, yes, I like this. The first and last episode. And this is season one yeah. of Atlantis. Two. Three. Whoops. Four. Five. Look at Jason Momoa. He looks so happy. He's not going to be happy soon. And then what is this called? What is this? Oh, my Andromeda. Some of the first videos I ever did, my Andromeda collection. But these are the individual UK Blu-ray releases of Andromeda seasons one and two. So the Robert Hewitt Wolf seasons. Let's get the Ouroboros. And then this is actually a German TV series I haven't really gotten into yet, but I knew it was like, I got them on sale and I knew it was, looked really at my alley, but it's Babylon Berlin. Uh, that came really highly recommended, so I definitely want to get into that. It's all three seasons. Now we're moving more into animation. I'm we'll start with uh, classic, and then some get into Ghibli. One of my favorite children's movies, The Last Unicorn. I love this movie. I love the book more, but movie, ah, oh, beautiful. And then we have. I don't know why we have this version. 
the older Totoro one? This is the older Disney Presents mm -hmm. Studio Ghibli. My name is Totoro. Then we'll move quickly because I have these all over my channel every time they come out. The Ghibli Steelbooks, Nausicaa. These and are gorgeous. They better finish releasing these, Shout Factory, because there's only four left they need to do to have the complete series. This one's harder to get now. Grave of the Fireflies. My neighbor Totoro. Kiki. Kiki's delivery service. Only yesterday. I just love these. They're so pretty. Porco Rosso. Whisper of the Heart. Mononoke. The two favorite ones right in a row and Spirited Away. I love Spirited Away. The Cat Returns. What's your favorite Ghibli? How's Moving Castle. That's one of mine too. I don't know. I Oreo. haven't seen most of these. Yes, I think that's only one of the things Parody. is getting you to like watch them all this year. We're going like, to watch year. all of them. We're up on Poppy Hill, because I've seen all but one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. The Wind Rises. Tale of Princess Kaguya. Uh, when uh, Marnie was there. And the most recent movie there is Earwig and the Witch. And then I have this Studio Ghibli movie soundtrack and essay book slash art book set of Princess Mononoke, because that's my favorite one. Keeping up with a box I just did unboxing for. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited we found this. This is the 30th anniversary of Yu Yu Hakusho with some bonus stuff, some extra stuff. This is seasons one through four, which is all of it, plus the OVAs. Mm -hmm. I like to say OVAs, but that's not correct. The eggs. The eggs. Then uh, we have all DBZ, of course, on DVD and picked out my favorite seasons. Season one, two, and Three. That's my favorite era DBZ. That was like I grew up with the original dub, and then they restarted it on Toonami, and like so those three. And those are, my are the favorite. regular. Yeah, these are the regular. Are and then we have Kai, season uh, four, which leads up to the end of Cell. And Kai's a little. The seasons are a little different because the episodes are re-edited and they're shorter. But season four, leading up to what I consider for me the kind of the end of what I like in DBZ. I wish they had. Dragon Ball on Blu-ray, because I'll buy the entire series. I love Dragon Dra Ball. The original Dragon Ball, but it's not in the Dragon U.S. It's, uh, then we have the two of the um, like made-for-TV, I guess, movies, History of Trunks and Bardock Father Goku. Watched these like crazy on VHS back in the day. Then my two favorite of the older DBZ movies, The Dead Zone and The World's Strongest. Then we have Pokemon Indigo League Season 1, which is like, that's our Pokemon. This is the only Pokemon yeah. that I've ever we're not, watched. Yeah, we're not Pokemon people, but this came out when we were in 4th and 5th grade. So this was like a thing that was exciting for us. Uh, good 80s anime series, Bubblegum Crisis. What a name. And I'm going to get a lot of flack for this because I like this better than Cowboy Bebop. From the creators of Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star. Oh, they, it was the same people? Yes. Yeah. So they just made it again different. Well, they're very different, but oh. I, it's similar stock of the same studio, whatever. But huh. I like Alistar Star better, and people are going to be so mad. Uh, then we have the Jetsons, the complete original series, the complete original run before it came back in the 80s. <coughs> and this is actually a Warner Archive, but I wanted to keep it with the animation. Uh, Tom and Jerry, Golden Collection, Volume 1. It's 37 original, unaltered, as much as possible, Tom and Jerry. Like, he's called Jasper in the beginning, like, everything. So, like, real old school Tom and Jerry. And then... This is, a, I love this, uh, Flintstones, the complete series box set. One of my favorite Hanna-Barbera shows. Love that box set. And then this is actually a German special edition Hong Kong Blu-ray, really high quality. What? Um, uh, King Kong. Oh, I said Hong Kong. Uh, King Kong <laughs> Blu-ray. <laughs> I said Hong Kong. King Kong. This is a German King Kong Blu-ray set. It's, okay. It's, 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 it's the original Kong, the 30s Kong, Son of Kong. Uh, and then the original Mighty Joe Young, like the really good, not the Disney. I've never seen the original You have to watch one. that. The Disney's okay. I didn't like the, the Disney one. Yeah, you got to watch the original. The original's actually good. They're all in here, tons of special features, and it's super high quality. If you don't own these movies on Blu-ray, like this German set, it is region-free. It has English on everything. So it's, yeah, really, really good set. Now we have some of our larger box sets. So we have kind of a different display here. Mostly sci-fi. Yes. So we get to SG-1. We'll SG-1. This is the complete series. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful slipcover. And I mean, this thing is massive. Yeah, but... it's, it's a beast. Yeah. Much better. And then another beast. We have the Battlestar Galactica, the remake series, including the plan as well. Nice big box set for that. And 
the complete series of Andromeda. This was a UK exclusive release, all five seasons on Blu-ray. This finally, yes, I don't understand it. why that was so hard to do. Uh, well, don't Andromeda me, is just don't get me started, but yes, love it. It's I know it's cheesy, you know, it's series has a lot of problems, but I really you have a love lot of problems too, and I love you exactly. The Criterion Bruce Lee collection. This is a really pretty it's, edition. Yeah, I there's really a lot like of good that. stuff in here. I did an unboxing of that when that came out. This is really cool. This is like the best version of that. Uh, this is a Japanese movie box set that is one of the few that has English support. Because a lot of these don't. It stars Maki Horikita, which is why, which is part of a movie franchise. Well, this one's much more standalone with the Olympics coming and a wedding and whatever. But has an art book and. Uh, some, I have to do like an in-depth video about it at some point, but as an art book, and then also as a 3D version, so I can watch a Maki Horikita movie with English support in 3D. So look. Next up, before we get into Star Trek, we have this big Wizard of Oz box set that has the 3D Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray, and a million other things. Uh, now we're going to, I guess let's start with the original series for Star Trek. The original. We'll move those over there. We have to start off, and we're still there's still a lot of Star Trek Blu-rays to come. <laughs> we're, we're big Star Trek people, so uh, the original series. I did a whole unboxing of this for the. I like that has the Love in these. the middle. Yeah, it's keeping nice and safe. But the entire original Star Trek series, Steelbook Blu-rays, and then we have the individual release of season two on Blu-ray with the Tribbles disc, with all the Hello. Tribbles episodes. So I really enjoy that, and then a couple different of these collections is the original series, the Origins Collection, which is a collection of a few famous episodes, like the first meeting with the Klingons and uh, Tribbles and that kind of stuff. And then a more recent release, we have the Roddenberry Vault Collection, which again includes a bunch of classic episodes and a whole bunch of new uh, like footage and stuff that was found and like just more, more content and documentaries. So a lot for that. And now the movies. We have the older individual Blu-ray releases of the motion picture, Danger. The Wrath of Khan, Khan. The Search for Spock, Spock. Man's favorite of these, the Voyage Home, Final Frontier, <laughs> then we have The Undiscovered Country, Aww. and a sealed Undiscovered Country, I love Undiscovered Country, then we have the Motion Picture Trilogy, 2, 3, and 4, and this the is a newer Star Trek. This is yeah. This is a still regular uh, Blu-ray, but it's is they re-released those three together because they do form a perfect trilogy. Then we get into the 4K releases. This is, this is so pretty. This beautiful box set that goes with that complete series. They did the first four together on 4K when uh, Blu-ray together, and then they released them individually and did uh, five and six finally. So those are pretty recent. And then you could buy a big box set with all those all if them. you want yep. to spend so more money. Doing them. And now the TNG movies are coming out. Uh, we'll move on to TNG, this big beautiful box set this of so TNG, the complete series. They just did a reprint on this because this had been sold out for a while. Because this is oh, really? beautiful. This, yeah, this, this is a really... Our, my parents got Fantastic. Got yes, yeah, your dad bought us this. Yeah. Because he was... Love this box set. Very upset we didn't have it. Yeah. So I love this and they just need to do D Space Nine and Voyager next. A sore spot. Uh, then we have some of the individual stuff. This was a promotional disc. This is TNG The Next Level. The Next Level. Which is just showing three episodes. It has Encounter at Farpoint, Sins of the Father, and The Inner Light. And it's showing off the remaster process before those started coming out individually. Then for the individual, we have the original Best Buy $80 price tag on it, Season 2. Blu rays were really expensive. Yeah, these were expensive when they came out, so still working on getting all those individually. A season two, three, season five, and then some of these they did a lot of the TNG two parters, edited together just one, basically TNG movies. Uh, they did. We have Redemption. Love that. Anything with the Klingons, the Klingon politics. I love that. All good things. Yeah. The finale. Thank you. And then included in this Star Trek Picard movie and TV collection, we also have The Best of Both Worlds and Chain of Command, two more of those two-part episodes made as one, and as all the TNG movies. So it's a box set of all of that. And then this is the, they also matching one of these for TOS motion picture collection, all of the TNG movies together. I'm That's right. a pretty, I like the, the yeah, art yeah, on that. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah, that white. Yeah. Then... The, the rest of these are crazy out of print, but I was able to get season six and seven of the Amazon Germany exclusive Blu-ray steelbooks. These so are so six, pretty. These are gorgeous. I wish I could get 
these, but they're like crazy out of print. And they form a picture along the side of the whole cast if you put them up together, so people have a whole set. But these are just beautiful German exclusive steel books, and they came with different pins. Each season comes with a different pin. And speaking of pins, just to mention, because it's not quite out yet, but from the Voyager documentary, I have a pin for that documentary that's coming out soon on Blu-ray, and we already have uh, What We Left Behind. Got to see this in theaters. This is the Backers Edition Blu-ray. Of course, I had to back that immediately as a big fan of DS9, and I wish I could be showing it to you right now on Blu-ray. Uh, Trekkies. But you're not bitter. I'm extremely bitter. 25th Anniversary Edition. This is... I love this documentary my whole life. Like, I wore, wore out that VHS tape as a kid. I love the first Trekkies. Such, like, stereotypes. I love it. The second one's still good. It's not as good, but I love Trekkies. Uh, the only one of the newer ones that we have on Blu-ray, we have a DVD of the first one, but Star Trek Beyond, I actually kind of like this one. It was actually fun. A fun, like, action movie. I did like Beyond. And moving on to Enterprise, we have the complete series box set on Blu-ray. And then my favorite season of Enterprise bar none is season four so actually the individual of season four i really this is like enterprise done perfectly this is enterprise done right except the finale we don't talk about the finale uh but it was a great finale we were... got to see t and g people Ugh, but yeah it was great so we have come to the end that the is end? our yeah, that is our current blu-ray collection what? for 2023 and we'll see you again next year